there is actually no A grade or B grade batteries. This this doesn't exist. Uh, let me let me explain. And now you are thinking, what the hell has Andy smoked today? Now he's telling us there's no A and B grade batteries. And you have a totally different experience with these batteries, products and services they deliver. So a couple of days ago, I made this video. Do we have a battery quality issue here? And we have now over 420 comments on this video. Guys, how am I supposed to read all this and comment? Now really, thank you very much for all these comments. It has been an absolute pleasure to read through all your comments about your positive experience with delivery, service and quality of your battery cells. And I'm really excited that so many people have actually ordered with QSO and, and had very, very positive experience with that. The vast majority of comments are very positive. So thank you very much for sharing this information with the community here. This is very, very helpful. And also the team from SFK, from the Sun Fun Kids from LA in the US, have sent me multiple emails explaining how this all works with A crate, B crate, a ton of information. They also made two very helpful videos, which I will link down in the description below and at the end of this video. So you can watch this first here. And I'm extracting some of these information here in this video as well. But most of the information are coming from your comments, from your emails. And I'm reading through all these information for the last couple of days to get a picture how this all works together. And here is what I have found. And our so beloved company EVE makes these beautiful prismatic cells in China, which are certified automotive grade batteries. And because EVE and other manufacturers are delivering these batteries to OEM car manufacturers to build electric vehicles, the Chinese government has introduced regulations and tests which these battery cells need to meet. Otherwise, EVE would not be able to sell any of these batteries to, uh, to car manufacturers because, well, you certainly don't want to have a fire or an explosion in your electric vehicle, you know? This is just shit. You don't want this. So EVE has to test all their batteries they manufacture under these test conditions and regulations. And this means the battery can pass these tests or it can fail these tests. And EVE is only allowed to sell these cells which are passing these regulations and tests to the automotive industry to make electric vehicles. So what are they doing with these battery cells? Well, these battery cells go into a big pool and will be auctioned off so other resellers can buy these failed batteries. And with failed, they are only not meeting the requirements to go into an electric vehicle. But this does not mean these batteries are bad or not usable for any other application for any other projects. A failed battery, a factory rejected battery or a B-grade battery doesn't sound really good, right? There's something not right with these batteries. They're just not passing these very strong test conditions and regulations. And I'm very glad that they are selling these batteries on the market. Otherwise, they would potentially be destroyed or going into landfill or not being used at all. And it would be a shame because they are really good batteries still. And to make this all a bit easier here, people have come up with the idea to call them A-crate and B-crate batteries. But, but now, guys, here is exactly the problem. We will find that these resellers are selling these batteries as A-grade batteries as well. EVE is now competing with these, with these batteries, which have passed all the tests to the other batteries, which have failed the test. But both are on the market as A-grade batteries. And this is why EVE has now started to put a B on these battery cells, which have not passed the strong regulations and test criteria. So if you get a cell with a B stamped onto the barcode, this is a factory rejected or a B crate or a failed battery. Yeah, and after this last video, a lot of people were concerned because they have already ordered uh, battery cells from Kishu or Basin or any other manufacturer there on, on the Ali platforms. And we're not concerned because I made this video and said, well, 
Do we have a quality issue here with these batteries? But I don't think we have a quality issue problem here. It is more like we need to meet the expectations of the buyers with the advertising of the sellers. Well, if we have a look at some of these battery cells here, which we buy from the resellers, you have seen this many times on my channel, and we will have these stickers here. They show the capacity of 280 amp hours, the voltage of 3.29 volts, and this one is from QSO, while this one is from Shenzhen Basin, and you can see the labels are almost identical. And they basically don't mean anything, because none of these cells has actually 280 ampere hours as stated on these labels here. This is not the true capacity. This is just the nominal capacity of these batteries altogether. Well, if you have a look on the SFK label for the A-grade batteries they import from EVE, it shows the exact capacity of each individual cell. So they are measuring the open circuit voltage of these batteries 60 seconds after the cycle test. And then again, after 60 minutes, and a third time after four or six hours. And accordingly, they also measure the internal resistance. And all this data gets captured in this spreadsheet together with the unique serial number of the battery cell. And this then makes it very easy to group and to match these battery cells together. And I have contacted QSO and asked them if this would be a possibility for them as well, not to print like 280 ampere hours or 304 ampere hours onto these labels, because they have told us they are doing their own capacity measurement anyway again. So it would be an easy thing to have this information on the label instead of just a meaningless capacity. And Amy, and Amy told me they are doing it right now. So we will see the actual true capacity of these individual battery cells coming from QSO now with the true capacity on the label. And then they can group these battery cells as well. If they have battery cells which have only 270 ampere hours, they can group them all together and, and can offer them to buyers as well and say we have a batch here of 270 ampere hours and we can offer them to you for this price. And here's another batch which has 291 ampere hours and we can offer them for this price to you. And guys, this is exactly the expectation we should have them. We need to know what we are buying. Well, until now, we just bought a 280 ampere hour battery and then we were really disappointed if the battery has only 275 or even less capacity, right? But we actually ordered and paid for a 280 amp hour battery. And this is what I said, we need to focus on meeting the buyer's expectation. What can I expect if I order these batteries from QSO or Basin? And what are the sellers actually advertising? Are they advertising 280 amp hours? Well, then the battery should have 280 amp hours. And if the expectation of the buyer meets the advertising or the offer of the seller, well, there is no problem then anymore. There's no problem because everyone knows exactly what they have ordered, what they are getting. And there's no arguing anymore. There's no negotiation there. There's no disappointment anymore on either side. And this is exactly what we need to achieve here. We need to bring the buyers and the sellers together and meet the expectations. And hopefully we will see some of the changes coming through now when they start stating the correct capacity on these battery cells. And I have found this a very good recommendation from SFK to call the original EVE batteries which have passed the testing certified automotive grade batteries while the other ones which have failed the test storage crate batteries because this is exactly what these batteries are perfectly fine for there is nothing wrong with these batteries to use them in storage crate projects and installations so in the next step I will try to get QSO and maybe the other shops as well to call their batteries storage crate battery cells and not A crate or B crate anymore. Because this clearly does not sound negative in any way, right? We've got these certified automotive crate batteries for electric vehicles that meet all the regulations, standards and passing all the tests, while these ones are perfectly fine for storage crate projects. And again, we're meeting here expectations of the buyers with the advertising of the sellers.
And additionally, if we then have the exact capacity of the batch of batteries you are going to buy, well, there's no confusion, right? There's no confusion. And this is something I'm trying to push these sellers now. I've got really good connections to the QSO team there. And hopefully these are the first resellers on Alibaba, which actually show the true capacity of the battery cells they are selling and also call them storage grade batteries. And you as a buyer have now the choice. You can buy these A-grade certified automotive grade batteries. Well, if you are in the US, it's very easy. You can just buy them from SFK. And I think you can still use my coupon code uh, OGG10 or something. I'll put this here on the screen and also in the description down below. And you get these certified automotive grade batteries from them with a label, with a sticker, with all the information, with the history of this one battery cell. And of course, these batteries are more expensive than the storage grade batteries, right? Of course they are. While all the other batteries are still good for our storage and do-it-yourself projects. And of course, they are a bit cheaper. And depending on the true capacity, you can potentially negotiate a price with the reseller. But again, it doesn't mean under any circumstances these batteries are bad. They still give you five years of warranty on these battery cells. And if you buy 16 of these cells and put them together as a battery, you probably have never a problem with top balancing or any of the cells peaking with a high or low voltage or something. They will always stick together as one big battery regardless. And this is exactly what you want in an electric vehicle, right? You don't want to have batteries peaking and the BMS shuts the whole car down or you're losing like 10, 15, 20% of your range in the electric vehicle. And this is exactly what we have seen here from our many tests we have done here with these battery cells here. It always took us a while to balance them out. And when we discharge them, we can see one or two cells are really low at the bottom. And then when we recharge them again, there is always a bit of balancing needed. But you know, these storage grade batteries, they are totally fine. For and because this is here a do it yourself, solar and battery channel i don't mind looking after these batteries from time to time and do a manual top balance maybe once or twice a year so these storage grade batteries they need a bit more attention from the user well these ones here are just a set and forget setup and as a customer as a buyer you have the choice buy the batteries directly from eve or sfk or buy the storage grade batteries from resellers on Alibaba. And I have now changed my website as well to reflect this. So you will find the links to the EVE batteries, so as well as links to the resellers on Alibaba. The only, the only, um, the only difference is, well, what these resellers are doing, they are welding these studs onto your terminals here. While the original EVE batteries you buy online, they don't come with any terminals at all. They don't even have this, they don't even have this M6 thread in here. There's nothing. It is just a plank terminal. That's how they are being produced. Because usually in electric vehicles, all these battery cells, they are being compressed and welded together. So why would you bother and drilling a hole into the terminal, right? These M6 threads and also the welded studs are being done by the resellers on Alibaba and also SFK. They are providing these welded studs as well, which have an aluminium base and a press fitted stainless steel stud. EVE actually says, and um, thank you again, Trevor, for your email with the information about that. And EVE itself does not use any studded terminals because they will lose their certification. Under the test conditions and regulations, they cannot push the maximum count through a one stud terminal. You may have seen these 280 ampere hour batteries from EVE. So they come with these laser welded terminals, which have two threads. And this is the only method they can actually push the whole current through and still stay within the certifications. So if you order the 280 ampere hour cells from EVE directly, you need to tell them to have these terminals welded on for you. Otherwise, all the batteries from EVE come with a plank terminal. It is just flat. Nothing on there. Nothing. You need to weld your own connection to these terminals then. And this already makes it less attractive to buy directly from EVE, I think. Because A, they are more expensive 
And then you have to deal with your connection of the bus pass to these terminals then. And I know SFK provides these batteries as well with the welded stud on it, but technically they are losing the certification by doing this. With only one stud, these batteries are not able to pass the tests and regulations. And they are not certified anymore then. But of course SFK is doing this because this is just easier for do-it-yourself projects. It is so much easier. Yeah guys, I think so far I have captured all the aspects of having these batteries directly from EVE or the resellers. So you probably know now what is going on and how to handle this situation. And as I said before, I'm trying to push these resellers now into a better spot. So it makes it more transparent what they're actually selling. And it hopefully meets the expectations of the buyer as well. And we all can happily build our batteries here, tackle climate change and the energy crisis. Crisis. Okay guys, so far this video from today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great financial support to buying me beer because we will need this very soon. Testing solar panels again. Got something very interesting coming up on the channel here. And as always guys, stay charged, stay safe and thanks for watching again. See you then. Bye bye. Don't forget to watch these two videos here from SFK. There's all the information in there. So show these guys some love. <laughs>